I added ChatGPT to my indie game, and here's how. This video is sponsored by SNHU, but more on that later. So I'm sure you're all familiar with the recent hype around ChatGPT, the large language model released by OpenAI, as well as several potential competitors, notably Google's Bard. And playing around with it, you can do really funny stuff. For example, writing a four paragraph essay about quantum entanglement in the style of a medieval jester. And tons of startups in even existing companies have been trying to integrate this technology into new and existing products. Customer service chatbots are an obvious one, but I got to thinking how this might change game development or potential new areas we can implement this. Because of its ability to generate text in different styles, I think one of the easiest integrations would be for dynamically generated quest text. Essentially, instead of having static text that a game designer or writer creates, have a large language model like ChatGPT generate specific quest text at runtime based on certain conditions or features. So that's where I began. OpenAI only has official libraries for Python and Node.js, so I had to look to the developer community. There's one listed from Betalgo on GitHub for C Sharp, but fortunately I found just what I needed from a YouTube account called Sarge, so definitely check him out if you're interested. And the specific video will also be in the description below, as well as the community library I ended up using. So I cloned the library, or technically added the package to my Unity project, I set up my OpenAI account with an API key for authentication and began testing it. Here is the basic flow. On start, every NPC that is a quest giver will grab a quest from a procedurally generated pool of quest objectives. Each NPC will then be given a character description like old man, a noble knight, uh, old ladies sweeping the floor, something like that. This description will then be given with the quest objective to the chat GPT model to create specific quest text for this scenario. That way, every time you play the game, you will get new dialogue and different quests from different NPCs, adding to the replayability. So here is an example. But what are the problems with this approach? It can't be that simple, can it? Well, first, since it uses an API key, we would only want it to be on a server-side application, which was also called out by Sarge in that video, which in our case, as a single-player game that would be installed on a user's computer, that doesn't really work. Otherwise, people can exploit your API key, making a ton of calls to the ChatGPT API and either racking up a huge bill or just shutting down your account. So how might we solve this? Well, one way could be to do all of the pre-computation up front. Basically, have ChatGPT create a bunch of dialogue all up front, and then you can hard code these results into your game with some basic randomness instead of hitting the API every time. And bada bing, bada boom, you got a pseudo intelligent quest dialogue system, kind of. Alternatively, you can set up some sort of server infrastructure and communication between your game and a server, but that's a little bit complex. But since this is just a test, we're okay with just using the API. But I was still thinking how we could take this even further. Just as a quick shout out, I made a Patreon with benefits like Discord rolls, code snippets, and merch discounts. But definitely don't feel pressured, I appreciate you all just watching the video. Instead of just giving a description about the NPC giving the quest, could we also tailor it to the player? Which means we would need a snapshot of the player's personality, which could be quite confusing to get. But we could use something like the Myers-Briggs personality test. For those that don't know, the Myers-Briggs personality test or the free alternative 16 personalities quiz, they ask you a bunch of questions in order to create a psychological profile about the archetype of person that you are. Granted, these may not be super accurate, but you can kind of get within the ballpark, assuming you are answering the questions honestly. To integrate such a system, we could just straight up ask the player in the beginning, in theme with whatever the game is, similar to how a lot of RPGs have you create your character's backstory at the beginning of the game. Alternatively, or in conjunction with, we could also analyze the player's behavior over time throughout the game, such as how many quests do they complete, how much do they explore, how many monsters do they slay, how often and long they are playing, and any other general profiles or metrics. Combine all this, feed it into ChatGPT with the NPC character description, and now we get a unique dialogue scenario based on the player's personality. So here is an example of a quest for a player who has the ENFJ personality type. And obviously you can fill around with the prompt and add different parameters or restrictions.
but this still doesn't necessarily solve the API throttling or security problem. So to truly implement this in a scalable fashion, it would need a bit more engineering prowess. So if you do have a potential solution, please comment down below, as well as any other suggestions for the system you may want to see. If this interested you and you're thinking about potentially getting more education into game development, this video sponsor might be able to help Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. So I'm briefly going to talk specifically about their game development program. You'll learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, physics, 2D and 3D graphics, as well as interface design, all in programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java, which are some of the major game development programming languages. You'll also be taught how to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of game programming. Courses are taught by faculty with actual real-world experience. SNHU is also super affordable, with their online tuition rates being some of the lowest in the nation. Go to snhu.edu slash Marcella, also linked in the description, to see what the average annual salary for a programmer is and be able to request free information about the program. Thank you to SNHU for supporting the channel. Thank you all for watching. Again, consider checking out SNHU in the description below. My name is Michael. We do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly and check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. We make college advice, career advice, tech, computer science, game development videos on this channel. If any of that does sound interesting, consider giving me a subscribe, like this video to help you boy out with that YouTube algorithm. That's all for me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.